Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryder Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your executive business mod inside your Grand Theft Audio V folder. So before we do get straight into it guys, make sure that you download all the latest requirements that is inside my description below and make sure that they are all the latest version. Once you guys have completed that, then download this mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below too. Once you guys have completed that, then go to your game, Grand Theft Auto V game, and then hover over it, right click, and open file location. As you guys can see, that this folder is a complete brand new folder with no mods in it. So before we do install our requirements, make sure that you connect your game folder to OpenIV. Open up your Open IV and then now go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This may take a few seconds, it depends on your PC performance. Once the application pops up, go to your tools on your left hand side up top, then go to ASI Manager and then go to your ASI Loader and install your ASI Loader. And then go to openiv.asi and install your openiv.asi. This application will come up, just select yes. And then install your open camera. Close your application and then close your openiv. And you have fully connected your openiv with your game folder. Now guys, we are going to install our requirements. Again, make sure that your requirements are the latest version. Open up your script hook v extract folder and go into your bin folder and select dinput 8.drl script hook v.drl drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up, just replace your files. Now go to your script hook v dot net extract folder and select your script hook v dot net dot asi dot dll and dot xml files and drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer v extract folder and select trainer v dot asi and dot ini drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Open up your menu extract folder and select menu stuff folder and menu dot asi drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now guys this is optional you can download this if you want to. This map reveal and open interiors will be inside my downloads inside my description. So go to map reveal and open interiors and open the extract folder. There will be three files inside your extract folder. Copy all three files and then drag it to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And then now all you gotta do guys is that go to your game folder right click and refresh your folder and now repeat the process again right click and create a new folder and name that folder scripts once you guys have completed that press enter once and press enter again and you will be relocated to your scripts folder now open up your native ui extract folder and select native ui .dll. Drag your file inside your script folder. And now we have completed installing our latest requirements. 
Open up your executive business extract folder and then now uh, you'll be relocated to all your files. Now we are going to install our executive business mod. Now all you guys got to do is copy everything inside your extract folder except for the readme.txt and disable business.ini. Now drag those three files inside your script folder. Now guys, the next thing we are going to do is go to your disable business.ini folder and go to recommend. Click on disable businesses and then now drag that file inside your script folder. Now exit out of your executive business extract folder because we finished with that. Now the next thing we are going to do guys is fix our FPS drops. If you guys go into the game and you guys are experiencing uh, a lot of FPS drop then I am here to help you guys out so we are going to fix that. To fix your FPS drop all you got to do guys is go into your executive business folder and now you can choose what kind of business you want. Do you want your business to be at the maze bank or to be at the Lombok tower? You guys choose what, what business you guys want and then now you guys can follow the process. I'm going to choose maze bank because I always like the maze bank. So all you guys got to do is select all of your files and now since i am keeping maze bank then i'm going to select maze bank now after that guys select main and select your maze bank garage and now select sub business now all you guys got to do next is go to your blue shaded um over here guys and then right click and then delete your files and now guys there it goes it's all gone and now the only business that will appear on the map is your maze bank business go back to your scripts folder and now go to disable business right click and edit with notepad if you guys don't have notepad plus plus then i will leave that in some of description as well make sure you guys download notepad plus plus and we gotta get straight into it now over here guys, we have got a couple of things over here and we do have a couple of other business in here. As you guys can see, there's true and false. True means yes and false means no. So over here we've got a smugglers run business. Now over here it says executive business, maze bank true, submission true and warehouse true. No, as a matter of fact, warehouse false. I forgot to remove that. So guys, and it's all up to you, okay? If you got the biker business or the executive business and the gun running business inside your scripts folder, then you guys can keep those business, okay? It depends, but right now, I only got the executive business. So I'm going to disable the whole thing and then now we will get back to the video. Okay guys, I have disabled everything except for the executive business, okay? So once you guys have completed that, save it. And then now, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. And then now, refresh your folder. Exit out of your folder. And then now, refresh your desktop. And then I'll see you guys in the game. Now guys, we are here and we are back at the maze bank. So before we do get inside the building guys, there's one important thing that you must do and you must have Trainer V because you need to press F4 and you need to go to teleporting and then go to other teleports and then just scroll down just a little bit more guys. Just scroll down a little bit more and then enable your MP maps. Your game will freeze, but only for a few seconds, okay? So enable your MP maps, guys. And there you go, see, your game just froze for only a few seconds. One, two, three, see, about five seconds right there. 
and now we can enter the building so go and hover over the spot guys and then press E and then there you go see guys and you're inside here now just only walk up a bit more guys and now here we go guys see there is a, new, a few new things in here uh, you can come over here guys and now you can um, press E and your your weapons vault is here guys you can choose your weapons if you want to and your money vault is over here press E you can deposit some money I will deposit um to say $1,000 and now over here it show balance and the balance is $1,000 see guys that works and withdraw I will say $100 and then now show balance again and it should be 900 there you go see guys 900 right there so that's how much money and it is right so yes guys that's how you do it and over here you can access your computer now over here just let me press q and then now you'll access all the missions so you guys um that works okay and if you guys want to hang around you guys can hang around around here and you guys can hang around around here if you want to you guys can do a gameplay too and etc so yeah it is pretty cool um, it is pretty cool guys but guys just to let you know okay you cannot enter your garage over here anymore see guys you cannot enter your garage in here over here anymore because it has been moved to enter your garage just come over here guys you can come over here to if you want to but there's nothing over there so guys to go into your garage just only come over to this green uh, dot over here and then now press Q and then now you'll go to your underground garage which is this is your underground garage um go over here too guys you'll be totally put it into your garage and before you guys do get go inside your garage you need a car so let's go and spawn a car vehicle options uh spawn vehicle and now we're gonna spawn our vehicle guys and now here we got we got a car now guys so to save your car guys okay if you guys got model cars and if you want to save your car inside the office okay in the garage then just hover over the red spot and then press E and then change options and now you can you can just save your vehicle in any garage you want uh, you can save it in, in any garage okay guys so uh, I'm just gonna save it in slot 1A and there you go wait for a few seconds okay guys because it's loading all the model vehicles and there you go and that's all guys see and now your vehicle is saved over here and these other vehicles in here these other model vehicles too and you can come over here too guys and now you can remove records or delete records or whatever it's totally up to you and you can come over here guys there's other model records too there's other model records i like this car over here there's other model records here too guys and these other up top too there you go see guys so guys this is an awesome mod okay and this is the awesome update um it just only gives us you know it just changes everything around uh so i really do like this mod so i hope you guys do like this mod too so guys i hope you guys do enjoy the mod if you guys do then let me know in the comments below and don't forget guys if you do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments contact me through the comments or contact me through discord server i'm always active on my discord server and other people may able to help you too so guys with that all said okay um i forgot to mention one more thing too guys is that inside the computer in the mod inside your executive business that all the missions does work i have already tested all the missions so all the missions done to work guys okay i do guarantee that they do work i already tested them all one by one so all of the missions does work guys if you guys do get stuck 
just let me know in the comments okay and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out so guys with that I said i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching guys peace and i'm out